a friend of mine gave me these pens, these uh, uh, jelly archival pens that are called Stardust. And what it is, it's just handmade paper and these jelly roll pens and many, many layers. And three and a half years later, I've developed an actual language, which is, you know, which is what they're, they're called Stardust drawings. And I just sit here for hour after hour after hour and just work on them. Take about a month to do. I got here with my sister in 1962. Uh, it's called Pedro Pan, which is a, you know, the 18,048 children from the, from the professional class in Cuba left without Castro realizing what was going on. And there's been a couple of documentaries on it. So we're here alone. My mother gets here three and a half years later. My mother was a medical professional. Castro wouldn't let her out. She gets here. She's got two kids to raise on her own. She worked 16 hours a day, two factory jobs. She forgot that she was a, a beautiful 39-year-old woman and a doctor and became a factory worker. When I turned 40, I decided that, it was, that I had to say thank you. So I made up this, this body of work called Mother and I. And that's what all of this is about. In the work, in the drawings, in the paintings, I am giving my mother everything she did not have in real life, I'm giving her in the work. The lavish surroundings, you know, the, the fancy designer dresses, the hairdos, the handbags, the works, the drapery, the furniture, everything she didn't have. We lived very simply. She, and she wore coveralls, you know, six days a week, because she worked six days a week. So I am giving her everything in her time period. This is the 1960s, you know, this very early, early 60s elegance, you know, the, the daisies, the patterning, all of it has to do with, with the time period that she would have enjoyed this stuff. These images called Chestnut Street. This is a street that we, you know, uh, grew up on. And obviously it's not Hollywood. It's not these major glamorous houses, just clapboard houses, whatever they are, just simple little, you know, American homes. And my mother did it. She sent my sister and I to school. And I am saying, hopefully to history, thank you to her. If I didn't have a story, I'd have nothing to paint. The only conclusion that I've come to is that the work should have a story, and if you're lucky, the story will pertain to you. <laughs>